Bubby. Good boy. Good boy, Tinky. Oh, you're my good boy. Milton, sit. Sit. If, if you want food, you have to sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Milton. Okay, yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew it. Morning, guys. I am up. I am out at a decent time. And I'm about to have my zip fizz. So I just pulled the vial out of my bucket without looking at it so that I could be surprised with you guys. Like, what flavor of zip fizz do I get today? And, yeah, fruit punch. Yes, this is good. I mean, I do know there are some lingering grapes in there somewhere, but you know, their day will come. But today it is fruit punch. Fruit punch, I would have to say, is my third or fourth favorite flavor behind black cherry and pink lemonade, but fruit punch will definitely do. I know I have my handy dandy bottle opener. I did find it. It was in my jeans pocket and like all is right with the world again. So like, let's do this. Oh my gosh. That will just... Mm. All right, go ahead and pause. Go ahead and get you a, a quiet corner or something. Go ahead. If you need more time to pour and make your drink, that's okay. Like, I'll wait. Okay, are you ready now? Because <laughs> now we're going to shake it. In three, two, one. Oh, that was a new one, guys. I, I haven't done that one before. Okay, okay, I'm done. Happy Sunday. Woo! I love it. I just love it. Anybody know how you can buy stock in Zippies? it is full-fledged snowing outside and I am not here for it had time for an extra long workout in the gym today and it was great I did over an hour on the treadmill over 400 calories burned over three miles like oh that was so good I am such a fan of low intensity steady state like I know that high intensity is important like hit and or you know intervals are important but like sometimes to just be able to get on the treadmill and walk as far as your feet will take you I mean it's pretty legit. Okay guys, unfortunately no Meyer this week. I actually went to Meyer last night. Um, I'll put some footage of the haul that I got there. Um, I have to go directly to the shop today because I'm getting my hair did. And then when I come home, I gotta do meal prep and be done quickly because I have a meeting at seven o'clock tonight that I need a good three hours to prepare for. So I need to put most of my effort toward that. So this week we are going relatively low effort classics. I enjoyed last week's breakfast so much, like the scrambled eggs, the bacon, and the sausage, that I'm pretty much doing something similar this week, except I'm turning the scrambled eggs into an egg loaf, and I'm very excited about that. So egg loaf, bacon, sausage, and then um, I have those Slim Fast Fat Bombs. Ah, I couldn't try them last week because I was doing total carbs, but I am gonna be incorporating those into my meal prep this week. I'm also gonna try to make some more fat bombs. Like I got a different sweetener. I'm trying different things because I want to be able to make my own fat bombs. But you guys last week, those fat bombs that I made, I did not eat them at all. Like it was horrible. So that was a little discouraging because I've come to the conclusion that I really need something sweet or else it's just going to be like taking up my mental real estate for too long. So I'm glad to have those fat bombs. Depending on how I like those, I got some Atkins bars. I got some Quest Hero bars. So I might just be mixing it up this week. For my second meal, I want to do a taco bowl because I have the Quest chili lime tortilla chips. And if you've never had those, like those are so good. They're my new favorite, even more than the nacho cheese, because they are spicy and delicious. So simple taco bowl, ground beef and cheese and lettuce. 
and oh man do i have sour cream oh if i do that'll be great sour cream uh jalapeno and then just those chips so i'm really excited about that i got some jello got some powerade overall i'm excited to get home figure out what i'm eating make it and be done with it but in the meantime let's go get this wig split hey girl yes i gotta have The egg loaf is in the oven. I made that ground beef. I got tons of bacon. Speaking of that, I got some left over here. This is three eggs fried in some of that leftover bacon grease. And I really like the flavor. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna have probably an ice drink. And then I'm gonna come back and wrap up with hopefully take three of those fat bombs. Like I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, and then some chopping and then I'll be done. So I'm gonna eat this, look at some Insta, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I am done cooking, so let's see what meal prep hitting like. Okay, for meal number one, there we have delicious egg loaf, which I've cut up into little squares. We have all that bacon that I cooked, and then not pictured is the frozen sausage patties that are in the freezer. Speaking of things that came out of the freezer, my fat bomb experiments. So I'll put them in little bars. I mean, they look good. We'll figure out how they taste on my What I Eat Wednesday. So that'll be meal number one. Meal number two is gonna be taco salad. So I have my ground beef right there. I got the Quest protein chips, like, oh, chili lime. Those are so good. Taco cheese, I got some fire sauce, some shredded lettuce, got some chopped jalapeno, chopped cilantro, some sour cream. And then we got the Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs. I'm so excited to try those this week. Of course, as usual, I also have Jello and I'll be drinking ice drinks and Powerade and my Bulletproof coffee this week. So one thing that I wanted to mention is that sweetener that I put in the fat bombs, it's called Sucra Drops. Like it's just straight up liquid sucralose. So I know sucralose can be a very controversial topic in the keto community, but like I've just come to the conclusion that it's part of my everyday life. Like it's in the ice drinks, it's in the Powerade, it's in the G Hughes barbecue sauce, you know, like it's in the things that I eat daily. And so I really wanted to keep my fat bombs zero total carb. So it's kind of an experiment for total carb week. So this is of course zero everything in it's liquid form. I ended up putting 12 drops, which is the equivalent of three tablespoons of sugar, which actually sounds about right so it's like a teaspoon and a half per fat bomb and i'm hoping it tastes really good i also put that peppermint extract in there as well so i will definitely be sure to let you know how those come out 
Speaking of BPC, I'm probably gonna whip one of those up for myself right now and then I'm gonna get ready for my meeting and I'll check back in to wrap the day up. When I met you, I said my name is Rich. You look like a girl from Abercrombie and Fitch. New kids on the block, had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. Okay guys, my meeting went well. I am done for the day, so I'm about to leave, but not without telling you how I got my entire life by eating this entire pint of enlightened chocolate peanut butter. Like, this whole thing has 12 net carbs and it officially changed my life. You guys, the trick is you have to let it sit out for 60 minutes. Ain't that crazy? Like you would've thought the ice cream would've melted, but no, 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 that is the sweet spot, figuratively and literally, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I set this out before my meeting and I came to get it afterwards and like, it was everything. Like my literal first bite, I was like, oh my God. And it just proceeded to be amazing from there. So that is the trick. If, you, if you've been trying these ice creams and they haven't been what you wanted, because to be honest, I've been trying these ice creams and they haven't been what I wanted. You're not letting it sit out long enough. Be patient, chill out, give it 60 minutes and like your day will be made. So as you can see, I'm jazzed because this is the most I've enjoyed anything in a very long time. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because you mean so much to me. Okay, but I'm done. I'm excited to try those fat bombs for my What I Eat Wednesday. So both the Slim Fest and my own homemade ones, like I will let you know how all of that stuff is. But like for now, I am turning it down. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly What I Eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly Keto Crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.